In this tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to set up an automated email campaign using System.io. This campaign will funnel your leads into an automated email sequence, allowing you to build up that marketer's trust and also to build up a passive income so that you can earn from and collect commissions while you sleep. Previously, this has been very complicated to do or you've had to pay for expensive marketing tools. System.io makes it super easy and I'm going to show you how to do it exactly in this tutorial. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Steve and I'll be providing you with the best System.io and affiliate marketing related content. So if you enjoyed this video or any of my other content, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons below. If you've not already signed up to System.io and you want to try a free account, then you can get that from my link below where you'll also be able to clone my entire affiliate marketing business, including funnels, email sequences and affiliate marketing training simply for signing up using my link. Okay, so I'm inside System.io now, and we are gonna be creating an automated email campaign. So if you hover over emails and click campaigns, and then click on create here on the right. And let's, we're gonna give this campaign a name. We're just gonna say um, tutorial campaign. You can give a description there if you want to as well. So this is our new campaign here. And I'm gonna click on the campaign itself. And right now we have absolutely no emails here. So what we're gonna do first is well, we're actually gonna create this campaign and then we're gonna create the automated rule that will allow us to funnel people into this without any further involvement from ourselves, okay? So let's click on add an email. And you wanna be using your business email address here, guys. Um, making sure you're not using a Gmail or anything like that. If you want a tutorial on how to do this, you can also find that on my channel. Um, let's give this a subject. We're just going to say hello and welcome. Now you have two options here. You can either use the visual editor, which is one of these two templates, or you can use like classic. I prefer just to use this one here so for this tutorial. It's nice and easy to use and we can change it really, really quickly. Um, the drag and drop editor is very similar on the email system in System.io as it is to the funnel builder here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete some of these things because I don't want them right now. And just to kind of save time in this uh, tutorial, get rid of this image, get rid of this. Okay, um, I'm going to get rid of this signature here as well because I don't really like it too much. And I'm just going to put my name here, Stephen. I'm going to change this photo by clicking on it here and then clicking over here and then upload in an image of myself here. Okay, now that is way too big. So nobody wants to see my face that big. There we go. Connect to me on Instagram, I'm gonna delete that as well. You can always keep it in. Now I really don't like this font, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna change it to Arial and I think that looks much better. All right, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this as well and I'm gonna put my own name here. Give some space. There we go, that looks fine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save this email once you've completed your email and then click exit. So here's kind of where we, we set it up, all right? Um, we're gonna to go to save and publish here. And because this is the first email in our sequence, okay? We wanted to just go out, um, I'm gonna say here one, and then I'm gonna choose hours, all right? You can also choose the time the email should be sent or days of the week. But as this is the first email in the chain, we wanted to go out at a time that's related to when they sign up, that being one hour. So we're gonna go ahead and click publish. So when people sign up to our form, we they will then one hour after signing up receive this first email. Now you can go ahead and change the time on this if you want to, um, or you know, change the content, it's completely up to you. But I just wanna show you how to set up the general structure here. Now here's, I guess, a shortcut. Rather than just simply adding more emails to the chain, what I like to do is, I like to just simply duplicate the email before here. Um, and it just saves a bit of time because you've already formatted this. You know, you've got your image, you've got whatever you want. Again, change the subject here. Uh, we're just gonna say email to, oh, that's a terrible subject, I don't use that tutorial. Um, and then save here, so that saves. I'm gonna go back into it. And then if you wanna edit the body of the email, click here. And then you wanna go ahead and edit this email so that your email is you know, your second email in your chain, whatever you want it to be, all right? So when you've done that, save and exit. Once again, we go to save and publish. And because this is the second email in the chain, it's not re it's not related to when they signed up to the form, okay? The first email is in relation to that. We want this email to go out exactly one day after 
the previous email. So after here, and then we cl click on the previous email, and then click publish. So we can kind of see here the structure of our sequence. We got this one here going out one hour after they sign up, and then this one here going out one day. Now again, to continue the sequence, simply duplicate. And when you've changed everything, didn't even spell that right. Save and publish. Once again, one day, but this time, not one day from the first email, one day from the previous day, okay? And that is kind of how you've got this sequence, you know, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, and you can have this chain going for as long as you like, okay? So this, we've called this tutorial campaign. So when you've got your email sequence all set up and ready to go, we are then gonna to need to create a rule. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. I'm gonna show you the short way, and then I'm gonna show you some kind of best practices or the way you should be doing it. All right, so let's go to funnels. And whichever funnel is your, your landing page, okay? So like, I'm gonna use this one here as a tester. So we've got our form here for people to sign up into. So when you edit your button, if you click on your button, you wanted to submit the form, right? Because you want System.io to collect this email address, collect this information. So make sure in your funnel, first of all, that your button is set to send form. And in this step here, I mean, this is entirely down to you, it's whatever you want your funnel to do, okay? But you need to make sure this is send form. Just wanted to show you that first of all. So the first way we can do this is if we click on automation rules here, and then what we can do is we can add a rule um, and then we can say when the funnel step form subscribes. So the trigger is when someone signs up to your form. And then when someone signs up to your form, we wanna add an action, okay? And what we wanna do is we want these people to subscribe to a campaign. And that campaign is the email campaign we just created. So let's click here. And then we're gonna need to select our campaign and we're gonna click save, okay? So now anyone who signs up to that form will automatically go into the campaign we just made, okay? And that is the quickest and easiest way to do it. Now, personally, and you should be doing this as well, you should be using something that's called tags. And what tags are, they kind of, they tag contacts coming into the system with whatever you want to tag them with. And that way you know where they're coming from, right? Because you could be running multiple campaigns, different niches. You wanna be sending people emails that they want to see and not all your contacts, the same stuff, right? So I'm gonna create a tag here. I'm gonna call it three day challenge because that was the name of our funnel. And this tag here is um, set up. So to basically we want people not just to subscribe to our email campaign, we also want to add this tag to them, right? And that is two actions. And typically when you are um, doing automation for your funnels, automation rules here are typically one thing at a time. If we're gonna do multiple actions, we, what we wanna do is we wanna go to automations and we wanna set a workflow. And you can see all the rules for all your funnels here in rules, but we're gonna set up a workflow. And workflow is kind of, if you've ever done any kind of project management, we just call it three day challenge workflow. It's your typical project management workflow type thing, okay? So you have a trigger here, and then you have kind of different options. You can have trees with different options, etc. So our first trigger is funnel form subscribed. So when people sign up to our form, they get subscribed, and you wanna go ahead and pick that, and I think it was, um, I didn't name it very well, but I think it was this one here, okay? Make sure you name them properly so you don't run into this problem. And then what we wanna do is we want to have an action and then we wanna apply a tag and the tag is the one we just made, which was the three day challenge. So that way contacts coming in get automatically tagged through marketing automation with this tag, okay? Now, we also want them to subscribe to this campaign. So if we click action, and then we want to say subscribe to the campaign and then we want to say our email campaign. So this sequence here basically makes sure that we're not only sending them emails, we're also tagging them too. And then click on exit and then you want to simply click this to turn it on. So the only difference here really is, is when we've done it previously from the funnel page, we only set up this one kind of funnel form subscribed. But if you're doing multiple different actions, um, I typically use the workflow feature because you can have them, you know, coming in and out. 
you can even put them into different email campaigns once they've finished another one, okay? And you can get quite, quite creative with this. But those are the two ways to do it. Um, and this is the way I use personally because sometimes it gets, a, you know, some of my automation sequence are a bit complicated. But you saw how easy that was to do, okay? So that was it. So I hope you found that easy to follow. If you didn't or you have any questions, please comment below the video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But email marketing and automation has been made very, very easy in System.io, so I shouldn't think you have any problems with it. If you want to see a tutorial video to be able to set up a custom domain or a business email address, then you can do so in one of my previous videos. I'll leave a link below for that too, so you can go ahead and set that up. But once again, my name is Steve, and this is my System.io email tutorial video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.